if any of you guys out there have a 5.9 diesel or a 6.7 diesel, I'm pretty sure they're about the same. If you ever run into the problem needing to replace the dipstick, mine, uh, my manifold heater did not shut off once and it heated this whole thing up. It was it was like an hour It was the manifold heater was on and it pretty well melted my dipstick tube. Melted it enough that I cannot pull my dipstick out. It's It's stuck. And it's not a major nuisance because you know I can just wipe it off right here and I can see I mean it's right there perfect where I can see it but it's just the fact that it's a super annoying little thing to uh, have to deal with every time you want to check the oil so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that guy and I think it's gonna be fairly easy I bought a new dipstick tube off of uh, eBay and I, it was relatively cheap I think it was like 50 bucks compared to the dealer it was a little higher than that so anyway not too many things to do obviously we've got to take this screw out there the little 10 millimeter I'm gonna re remove my battery cables because I'm gonna go down and unhook the starter out of the way and because it's right in behind the starter on the block and uh, yeah so let's just go ahead and get the uh, starter out of the way get the batteries unhooked first stay there I made these battery terminals when I was younger and I had an amp and speaker in the back and it works really nicely for having all your extra you know plugs in here you've got several different things plugged in then you don't want all that conglomerate mess sticking on a terminal or a post it just makes it a lot simpler I thought maybe they wouldn't corrode as bad either, but they do. The aluminum and the lead, obviously being two different metals, they do still corrode. Come on. There we go. Now the other one is a simple one. Since it's over here by itself. I forgot to put that back on. There we go. And I just popped a little wing nut. Now a lot of guys will put these kind of terminals on their batteries. And then they can put all those... You know those wires uh, eyelets and stuff on there and i just don't like that it's just it, it's those get corroded enough as it is without having and you see this one just being the one terminal there she's pretty corroded up already and these are brand new batteries just put them in here so i got everything pretty well cleaned up when we get done here i'm going to spray some acid eater stuff on there and protect it so i got anyway i got the batteries unhooked now we can pop the dipstick loose from the top switch out my socket here this guy back away. Put him up here out of the way so I don't lose it. Get the millimeter on. Pop this little screw out. And uh, being that tube got so hot and melted, it actually, I didn't notice it right away, but it had uh, a huge hole in the side of it. So it was leaking oil up through there a little bit. When I'd pull the dipstick up, it would leak oil all over this and just got it all messy. So anyway, I popped my little clip off of there. Now I just put a bunch of electrical tape on it to kind of keep it from making a mess. Anyway, let's go underneath and see what it looks like. Okay, there's the starter and the light shining right on the dipstick tube. I have not tried it yet, other than from up top, and I think it'll be awfully difficult to get it off with the starter in the way. So, we've got one bolt there, one there, and one right dead center on the top, and she's a son of a buck to get to. And I've replaced these bolts for bigger heads, so that'll make it a little bit more difficult than normal, but usually it's a 10 millimeter, 12-point uh, headed bolt. These are 16s, but they're still the same diameter bolt, obviously. Alrighty, let's see if we can't get them out of there. Okay, now we've got the starter out of the way. You can clearly see the dipstick tube there. Right there she is. And she's just got a simple little spring clip on it. I don't know why, but they seem to stick harder than heck usually. So let's grab a hold of that guy and see if we can get him up off there. I'm just going to use a simple pair of six inch pliers hopefully i can get it out of there without having to cut it well we might have to just cut it off there there's a little standpipe 
steel standpipe that it's just sitting over. So I might have to cut it off there, but I hope not. Let's give it a shot. Okay, see if I can do this. Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to try and grab that thing with the... or go to town and use the power washer try to clean some of this oil and gunk when you stick your hands up in here to get these starter bolts you're gonna fill your eyes with nasty crap so it definitely makes it easier and see I'm, I'm covered with black stuff Yuck. all right let's go get that out of there okay there it is let's see if it kind of matches the new tube Yeah, it looks like it's pretty close. It's hard to tell with an old dent. Now, we just have to try and get this little pipette out of the tube, which we'll probably have to cut, because as you can see, this guy's pretty freaking melted, and that's where it was leaking oil right there. And the dipstick bump on the end of the dipstick won't come past that. So let's try putting it in the vise and see if we can pull it out. Well, hey, that was actually pretty damned easy. I'm just going to get past the bump here in the end. There you go. One pile of junk going in the junk pot. There we go. Now we just got to fish this back down through the engine compartment to the bottom. And there we go. Probably should put the, the little clamp on this end first, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Shazam. All right. Now we just got to stuff her back down through the engine bay without catching any vacuum tubes or putting her in properly in the wrong place. Let's see how we can do here. First shot. All right, over top of the fuel filter. And I missed those hoses. Oh. Of course, it's not being bent. It doesn't want to go down there. Uh, let's put some light on the subject, shall we? And come on, light. There we go. Well, now I can see where it goes. Right there. There she is. I doubt I can get this thing fished over there to it. And get close maybe I don't think I can I'll just go underneath and get it okay got my little tube like the dirt off of it god dang it tip of the angler over here into the little standpipe come on come on down here Slide her onto that guy. All the way in. Uh, of course, it wouldn't go all the way on. Well, I'll have to pull it down with the pliers. There we go. I just gotta get that 
silly clamp back down here. <coughs> oh my goodness, that's really tight. Nope, another job for the blockers. Come on, get on there. Nope. She just doesn't want to slide down. There we go. Okay, that's far enough. Now, we just got to put the starter back on and the starter adapter plate. Because this is a six-speed conversion on this one. Well, there's that. Now, just throw the tools out. Throw the rags out. Put the hat back on. And we're all out of here. Well, that doesn't look right. Guess we better put our clamp back on, hadn't we? Oh, gonna need those pliers again. God dang it. Perfect. one-handed. It's quite a task. Yeah, it makes you better with your fingers, I suppose. Nothing wrong with that. Snug. And there we go. Other than put the batteries back on, that's all we need. Yeah, pull this out real quick and wipe it. Put it back in and check our oil. Whoop. Well, hey. That's right where it's supposed to be. Alrighty, good enough. I'm gonna wipe it one more time. That's kind of a two-handed job. Okay, turn her back in there. Come on, find the hole. There you go, right there. Okay, there you go. Replace the dipstick tube on the 5.9 Cummins diesel. Kind of a pain in the butt, but really turned out not nearly as difficult as I thought. If you guys are into repair videos, you can catch a few more on YouTube as Iowa Organic Farmer, which I put all kinds of stuff on there, including organic farming practices and what we do in day to day and that kind of stuff. But I do some repair stuff on that on that uh, YouTube name also. So check me out, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and give me some questions if you want some answers. I'll try to do what I can for you, and uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Catch you later.